Well, it's April 26, 2012. This is HRM Caesar St. Augustine de Buenaparte, also known as Reality Supreme Being. And I have some more mad, mad, sad, bad news for everybody. Um, yes, uh, you know, I haven't been to the doctor, so my teeth are still bad. I'm coughing a lot more. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I found blood in my stools. Um, I want to go. I don't care. It's all over. Third Tuesday, Howard Summers Towing on Deering Avenue uh, finally sold. They had my P.O. Box, but they finally sold my bus and my white trailer and uh, my blue truck. Um, everything in that bus was 20 years. It was my home. Uh, the majority of the stuff in that bus goes back to the time when I was a kid. Poems, artwork. Um, I lost a lot of artwork along the way over this horrible, horrible, torturous, terroristic atrocities that the United States of America, the city of Los Angeles, and the state of California have committed on me. Um, you're probably uh, going to listen to a lot fewer and fewer videos because it doesn't matter. Uh, we're four days away from the 30th and Obama and Romney and all the candidates uh, refuse to answer or even try to debate uh, a dying man's wish. Uh, if you met me on stage, not only would I beat all of you, you would disappear instantly because my logic defies anything that you people can ever come up with. You have manufactured, you're all, as Al-Qaeda puts it, you're Nazi infidels. And the Arabs that are running Al-Qaeda, they're Arab infidels. Okay? So there's many different types of infidels. And Americans are all Nazi infidels. Uh, the Nazis uh, wiped out the Jews, mass murder. The difference between Americans is they do it selectively. They only go after certain people like me, people who could outshine them, outdo them anytime, talk them out of their league because they don't have the capacity. Yeah, I know you've seen a lot of videos about me ranting and raving, but like I said, is it live or is it Memorex? Is Caesar acting or is he just trying to blow off steam because he's been hurt so badly? And if I said in one of my videos, if I am suffering from disabilities, this is how America treats people with non-visible disabilities, internal disabilities, disabilities you don't see readily right away. Uh, Roosevelt had a disability, but he hid it from everybody because radio was around. There was no TV, so uh, it was just uh, theaters. And Roosevelt would hide his polio or his uh, crutches or he would be standing next to two people. He hid his disability very well. Many people in the United States didn't know that Roosevelt was uh, primarily crippled. But regardless, whatever is visible or invisible, it doesn't matter. Your country has done unbelievable continual damages to me and is still doing it to this day. When I went into Howard Summers, I, uh, I was, I said, is uh, Steve Heller, and he won't be until Monday, so I went back there and talked to the other Steve. Some bald-headed guy comes out, and he starts ranting and raving at me. I said, I'm not raising my voice. You don't see me. This is private property. I'm going to ask you to leave. Why? Because I'm asking you for the name of the people that bought my 20-year home uh, that has been ransacked and destroyed over and over again and hurt and bent and, and done all kinds of things to you had more than two years to get all your stuff out of there. Well, you don't understand. You're the same people that took all of my trucks that were able to get anything out of whatever vehicles you have impounded. The multiple, unbelievable number of vehicles that you people impounded on me. And the, the, the financial debt that, you, that your country kept me in purposely. So yes, you have destroyed my life. You have been totally successful. But I really hope there is a God, and I hope that you people are all reborn in the same body I, that you live, have to live through my life, through the pain and suffering I've been through, that every day of your life, let's talk about bullying. 
They talk, make a big deal on television. The news media is a bunch of the biggest bully along with America because they bully you in a different way. They bully you by lying to you. So here they are uh, talking about bullying and how bad it is. Well, let me tell you, there's different kinds of bullying. There's bullying adults, bullying using the color of law, bullying using building and safety, bullying uh, with neighbors who, who literally prey on people like me. You have, yes, destroyed my life. Uh, I'm hurt very, very deeply that I can never access any of my things nor have a safe place to take my things to because that's why I couldn't pick anything up. They didn't want, and, and the guy said, oh, uh, you, we don't have your address. We tried to serve you. I said, you have my P.O. box. You can drop a P postcard there anytime and tell me that another auction is coming up and you're going to put my stuff up. I had declared a bankruptcy and never finished it. So they weren't legally obligated to sell any of my stuff. So finally, because I had to warn them because of safety factors, I told him, that I had explosives in the white trailer and in the bus and maybe even in my blue Ford pickup truck and that there is gunpowder and there is stuff in there that if you people aren't careful oh you better have a license I go I don't need the license the stuff is no longer mine you it's been in your possession for more than two years oh I'm gonna call the police I'm gonna well fine go ahead and call the police in the meantime I'm gonna call the media and tell them what I told them and I expect anybody listening to this video to call the LAPD and tell them I'm not at fault. I'm just a person who is trying to live peacefully and be left alone. I wasn't building bombs or doing anything like that. One of my many past occupations was being a gunsmith. So there are many, many things that I had and pyrotechnics in, in movie studios for different movies. You know, you people are evil. There is nothing good about the LAPD gang members, Al-Qaeda, even you churchgoers, there's nothing good about you. And why? Because you violate Matthew 18, 6. You kill children by remote control, long distance, with your tax dollars. And you cannot erase that. Just like you cannot bring back my every nut, every bolt, every car, every truck, everything that you took from me, you trapped me here in L.A. I was still supposed to move to 40 acres in Colorado. I can't move right away like anybody else. I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to move. So yes, you destroyed my life. I hope you're happy. And the sooner I die, I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to make, but there's no use in me living anymore because you've taken everything of value from me and forced me into storage places. Forced me. I, never, I had all my stuff in moving vehicles so that if I ever had to move anything right away, I could put my key in the ignition and start it and move it someplace else. Your nosy neighbors, your, your crappy lawyers, your crappy judicial system, your evil citizens, you're all Nazi infidels. And the Arabs are no better. And the Palestinians and the Israelis are no better. They're Jewish infidels. And then you have Arab infidels and you have Al-Qaeda infidels. You're all idiots. And I hope, I really hope, I don't, I don't believe in a God. I really don't because if a, a, to me, a true supreme being would have protected me. I've never harmed anybody. A true supreme being would have come to my rescue like Superman and said, Stop! You cannot take Caesar's cars, his trucks, his boats. He's worked hard all his life to, 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 to work, pay, to find, to possess these things, and he's entitled to the respect of respecting what he owns, and if he doesn't have a place to take it, then help him find a place. He has money every month. He can pay the rent, but it has to be reasonable. But Howard Summers didn't call me once, didn't notify me over the last year and a half. They're just as evil. They're tow yard infidels. And there's all kinds of infidels in the world. There's, there's, um, uh, what you call child molester infidels. There's crime infidels, criminal infidels. There's violent infidels. You're all infidels until you prove otherwise. Listen to my other videos. Take your money out of the banks. Start protesting. Take uh, your uh, stop paying taxes. 
protest against the government, be non-cooperative, do what the CIA terrorist manual that was being sent by balloons and dropped off into Nicaragua. The terrorist manual, which I had copies of in a lot of my cars, that told people how to leave the lights on, waste electricity, plant plants on state property, and do all this kind of subversive, nonviolent terrorist actions to really upset the equilibrium of whatever power was in charge of that country and but you, you you people don't care you don't care about people like me for three years they burnt my house they followed me for nine years taking every car every truck every possession I had stored and everything and now the final thing taking my last place my abode taking uh, the white trailer taking if a lightning strike had hit it it probably would have blown up and killed a lot of people you know yeah, yeah but the fact that it has tires means that it won't get struck by lightning but you people are very evil you don't care about my life you don't care about people like me all you care about is your rules your regulations are more important than the safety and respect of an individual who's never done harm to anybody you have murdered me and you are continuing to murder me you're doing it in every breath that you take every walk that you take through life you are doing it over and over again uh, I still have uh, two other vehicles stored someplace else but there was an incident almost that took place but the guy that had it, the property stopped the city with a couple of friends from doing anything about it but uh, those are the last two things left and I'm afraid to pull them out because of exactly what's happening now the evil man who talked down to me at Howard Summers towing the evil people that don't have any compassion the mayor of Los Angeles the president of the United States the Senate the Congress that jerk off Brad Sherman all you people are infidels and I really really hope that some superior force hears my voice like heard Moses voice and lays nothing but waste on all of you for the evils you did to me and I hope I just live long enough to see all you suffer the way you people have made me suffer because that's what you've done now <clears throat> I can talk for a minute about some other things that our uh, last words and testament to about a person who said he wants to run for president he's challenged these candidates four times uh, you had a chance to uh, challenge me come to a stage in LA on Easter before that St. Patrick's Day before that some other day I don't know and and now uh, I've made a pat to answer me before Mother's Day or something extremely extremely bad is going to happen something very similar to what happened to the Egyptians when Moses warned them and he said the next plague on Egypt will come from your lips and the Pharaoh said the firstborn of every Hebrew family will die and Moses knew that God was going to reverse it and that Jehovah would make every firstborn of the Egyptian households in Egypt die and they sprinkled blood across the doorsteps in order for the death to pass all the Hebrew homes well something very similar is going to happen to all of you because of and, and in order to understand you have to look at every 160 of my videos there are powers in the universe that are far beyond your comprehension if they ever existed before like it said in the Bible and they're raising up and starting to exist again I would be very very careful about what you people are doing because you are playing with your lives and the lives of your children and your children's children you have no idea the monsters you have released by doing the damage repeated damages you've done to me and the damages that you're continuing to do to me this is your last warning Mother's Day you're going Mr. Obama you are not the president you never have been neither was Bush neither is Romney you none of you are going to take office you're gonna meet me on stage and you're going to have to answer for all the evil you have contributed to the evils plural if you don't you're gonna suffer the consequences I told you something very very big that yogurt spill that was spilled on the president has to do with live bacteria 
that was not a coincidence. Acidophilus is good for the intestinal tract. But that germ spill on his trousers is the first signal of a germ agent that is going to be released by somebody on the planet. And there's not any of you that are going to be able to do anything about it. You should not have done what you did to me. Your time clock is running. And you aren't going to find me alive. Not if you come looking for me, because I'm not going to answer you. I'm keeping my distance from the crappy police, law enforcement, all in the Secret Service, who had whores. You know what? They were probably busted. They were busted. Not for what they were doing. They've always been doing that. They, they were doing that even with John F. Kennedy. Read John, one of John F. Kennedy's uh, guy, guy who wrote uh, the story about John F. Kennedy, what went on behind the scenes. <clears throat> you decided to go let this go to the media to clean house so that you would be on the news. That's what Obama's so-called campaign managers are doing. This is a ruse with the sacrificing of certain Secret Service agents who are used to doing this activity. And of course, now that they're caught, they're fired, laid off. You're certainly not going to be able to interview them. And the reason for this is to get the media's attention to get Obama on the news everywhere you turn because it's getting close to November of the election. Think about that. Think about that real good. This is not what you think it is. You people are all in trouble and you have no idea what you've done and what you've released. Talk to you later, maybe.